This game preview is brought to you by Manscaped's Premium Ultra Soft Boxer Briefs 2.0. Complete with the all new jewel pouch to protect your stones. Use the promo code SACCITY for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Manscaped, the perfect tools to protect your jewels. Jacksonville Jaguars traveling over to Los Angeles to take on the Chargers. The Chargers are seven point favorites in this game with an over under of, se- of 47 and a half points. The Chargers have never, ever, ever in their history lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars at home. They are 5-0, and and all those wins all by double-digit <laughs> margins. Uh, and Justin Herbert has been a part of, I think, two of them or one of them. Um, I, I, I saw the stat. I didn't write it down. I should have I wrote it down. Um, but on top of that, on top of the history of that, The Jacksonville Jaguars have also lost five straight following a win, which they did win last week. They shut out the Colts 24 to nothing. From what you've seen from the Jacksonville Jaguars and bumping them up in the power rankings that you did, do you think this seven-point favorite from the Los Angeles Chargers is a little bit much? Uh, I like I like the number. Okay, all right. So it's not I, I like the number. No, I like the number on the road across the country. Um, I'm assuming Justin Herbert is a part of this. If Justin Herbert's not playing, then obviously that number changes, and I think even Vegas would say that. Uh, but I think that's an encouraging sign that he he's likely to play. Um, I like the number. I think a touchdown is fair. Um, Look, and despite what Jacksonville was able to do to the Colts, the Chargers' offense is a lot more explosive. We don't know if Keenan Allen's going to be back, but they have an explosive offense. They have weapons on the field. Um, Justin Herbert's one of those quarterbacks that gets a bunch of guys involved. Um, you got deep play guys and Mike Williams. You got um, underneath guys and Austin Eckler. Gerald Everett has been a huge addition to this team. I really like him on that in that offense um, with that type of quarterback. So. I think the number is fair. I actually like where it's at. I think this game is not a blowout. I think the Chargers win. Like, I don't think there's ever going to be a question whether the Chargers win this game or not when you're watching the game. But I think you still look at Jacksonville and you're like, that's a team that's coming, man. That's a team that's going to continue to get better. Trevor Lawrence is going to continue to develop. The weapons they've added, the pieces they've they've added, um, pieces that people were laughing at in the offseason the Christian Kirk says James Robinson's not the guy it's Travis Etienne those guys have proven that they have stepped up and they're filling the role that we thought they could um, at least here on this show because I believe everybody here was on board with the James Robinson train and the the Christian Kirk being um, being a thing so I I like where Jacksonville is going I think this is just kind of a mismatch and I don't think they're quite to the Chargers level yet um, despite what I feel about the Chargers, I think they still have some glaring holes, but I, I think they, I think they are a little bit more ready for this moment than, than Jacksonville is. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think you nailed it right there with the fact that the Jacksonville Jaguars are just not there yet. Um, and the Chargers are there and maybe not there on the level of like the Chiefs and the Bills yet. Um, but the Chargers are much closer and much farther ahead, uh, than the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I do think that this is, a a, not a setback game for the Jaguars, but after shutting out the Colts last week, 24 to nothing, I do think the Chargers end up winning this game and give me the Chargers 35, the Jaguars 21. I don't think it's that high scoring. I think it's going to be, uh, I'll take the Chargers with, with knowing Justin Herbert's banged up. I think they protect him a little bit. Uh, I'm going to say the, the Chargers 24 and the Jaguars 20. Okay, much closer. I would I would be very happy about that close game. AJ has the Jaguar or the Chargers 34-21. Doesn't mean the game is close, by the way. Um I I, I would probably put that score at 24-20, but like Jaguars down 24-13 late. They could draw, you know, trying to get some garbage points, gets the touchdown, that type of thing. Um let's see if Dylan picks. Dylan does not have the Jags game on here. I don't have a Dylan pick. He has no Jags game on here. Dylan does not have a Jaguars pick. What a guy. Can't even pick his own team. Um <laughs> un- unbelievable. Uh yeah, no, I just hope this game is is I'm I'm excited. This, this is the true test for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Like this is like this is your measuring stick right here uh in this game. Mm-hmm.